All right, here is my video for question 25 and 27 on homework 1.4, and we're evaluating if uh, y is a function of x or if these are functions. Um, and we're going to see this by um, evaluating what kind of graph does this look like and does it pass the vertical line test. A good tool that I'm going to be using here will be Desmos to check these. Um, but what I can tell you here um, is this is the equation of a circle. The equation of a circle, remember, is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So I can tell this is meeting the um, equation of a circle. In a circle, any circle is not going to pass the vertical line test, and that's why this one's going to be a no. But let's evaluate this circle just a little bit more to see that. All right? Um, I must have a negative 2 for my h because x minus negative 2 would be plus 2. And my k must be positive 1, because y minus 1. And so my center of my circle is going to be at negative 2, comma, 1. And my radius is going to be equal to 5, because 5 squared equals 25. Um, sorry, radius is 5, not 25. 5. All right. Um, and so let's evaluate that um, by plugging this equation into Desmos and see that circle and how it fails the vertical line test. And so we have uh, x plus 2 squared plus uh, y minus 1 squared equals 25. And you can see the center of the circle is at negative 2, uh, comma, 1. So right here would be the center of the circle, uh, and that's from my h and my k. Um, and this is supposed to be 5, and so you can see my radius... Um, and we, we'd have to draw a line in here, um, but you can see the radius would be then that five units long. Um, and maybe you could count that from, uh, if we set our center of our circle is right here, uh, to go over two, over two again, and then over one, you can see that radius being five right there. All right, and it does not pass the vertical line test. If I draw a line through this, I'm going to intersect this at more than one point, and you can see that this negative 2 gives you a negative 4 for y, and the negative 2 here gives you a positive 6. And we said that in today's class that one input cannot give you more than one output, so it's failing that right there. All right, let's take a look then um, at 27. And we have here y squared equals x squared minus 1. Uh, square rooting both sides here. We end up with y equals plus or minus, and that's where we're going to have our issues, plus or minus x squared minus 1, the square root of x squared minus 1. Okay, the plus or minus is where this is going to get issues. All right, and let's again see this um, as we plug in values. Uh, we could see it as we plug in values for x, um, and we could do that. Let's plug in 2, all right? If I plug in 2 for x, Okay, I get y equals, and let's look at the positive side. I get plus uh, 2 squared, which is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. I plug in 2, I get y equals, and I look at the negative side of things, I get 2 squared, which is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So I have this positive square root of 3 and negative square root of 3, um, and that's going to give me two different answers for one input. So I already know I'm going to have problems there, but let's also see it graphically. And so I'm going to plug in this function here. I'm going to plug in the positive side and the negative side of things. And so clearing my page here, I have y equals the square root of, um, what was it again? x squared plus 1. Was I right in that? Let's check it again. x squared minus 1. Sorry. x squared minus 1. Um, sorry, bringing it back up. Sorry for the delay there. Minus 1. And that's the positive side of things. Let's look at the negative side of things. Uh, y equals the negative square root of x squared minus 1. And you can see we're going to fail the vertical line test here as well. Uh, we have, maybe we could look at, uh, what's a good one, this point right here. Uh, at, two, at 2, we get a positive 1.73. And at 2 down here, we get a negative 1.73. So two uh, different outcomes for one input tells me that's not a function. And we can see it graphically. We could also see it plugging things in. Anytime you end up getting this kind of plus or minus here, usually it's not going to work for us. Um, so just be aware of those two. Any more questions throughout that homework, always, be f uh, always feel free to ask me.